Hi everyone. So this video, it's a quick video on an essay written by Virginia Woolf that is Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown. It was published in 1924. So uh, why are we discussing about Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown is that it's like an, uh, an essay, it's a criticism of Virginia Woolf and if you look at the essay in detail, you will get an idea about the difference between the Victorian age writers and the modern age writers because there was a great controversy when the modern age writers, they started to write in stream of consciousness, they took avant-garde, they took different experiments in uh, in I mean in uh, writing their novels and all and also you can find that the modern writers apart from uh, dealing with realism or naturalism they took uh, much more into I mean they took the literary devices or literary genres of uh, experimentalism or you can say real um, magic realism where they gave more importance to fantasy and so so you can find that the modern writers they gave importance to soul the thinking process imagination creativity while the victorian age writers or the early modern age writers who belongs to the edwardian era you can find that these writers they uh, took realism as a necessity they uh, i mean they take the frame story it tells a story of an a man or a woman as a whole but that was not the case of uh, the modern writers their writings were fragmented uh, it might be just a single day it might be a thought process or it might be anything or it could be anything so that's a difference between so if you want to get a get a clear cut uh, contrast or a difference between this victorian age writers and modern age writers from the point of view of a modern age writer you can go to mr bennett and mrs brown an essay written by virginia wolf so now let's look on what led to uh, let uh, virginia wolf into writing this work mr bennett and mrs brown so it's an essay written by Virginia Woolf published in 1924 which explores modernity. So when people started to uh, write in extreme modern topics, extreme modern themes using modern literary devices and all, there were many uh, critics or many writers who criticized them for uh, adding to the fragmentation of that time or adding to the chaos that already existed during that time with the world war. So here, the writer Annal Bennett, so we know about Annal Bennett, he's an early modern age writer or we can say that he belongs to the late Victorian period or he belongs to the uh, Edwardian era that is from 1900 to 1910. So that's actually the time where Annal Bennett wrote. So the writer Arnold Bennett, he had written a review of Woolf's Jacob's Room. So we know Jacob's Room, that's a novel written by Virginia Woolf, which was published in 1922. So this novel, it has got all the modernistic elements, characteristics and features, uh, including stream of consciousness, uh, monologues, etc. And in Castley's Weekly in March 1923, which provoked Woolf to rebut it. So um, uh, Virginia Woolf's Jacob's Room, it, uh, I mean, it got a response from Arnold, ben, Arnold, Arnold Bennett in uh, Crassel's Weekly in March 1923 and this actually provoked Virginia Woolf. So, uh, on that day, she recorded in her diary that Bernard accused her of writing about characters that couldn't survive. So, here you could find that uh, why Annal Bennett criticized Virginia Woolf or her characters in Jacob's Room is because Bennett felt that the characters in Jacob's Rooms are not the characters that would survive. Okay, these are the characters they, that, that, that are hopeless. Okay, so these characters wouldn't last. So he accuses Virginia Woolf in writing characters that would that would not survive and thereby giving audience a false hope or thereby giving audience no hope at all.
So Wolf, she addresses, so she wrote this essay, Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown as a response to Annal Bennett's criticism on Jacob's room. So Wolf addresses what she sees as the arrival of modernism and the changes that came with the advent of modernism in human relations, religion, conduct, politics and literature. So we, while we dealt with the introduction to modern age, we have discussed about the different features, about the great change that was brought in, brought, uh, into the world or into the literature with uh, modernism. So there was a change in human relations, in religion, in conduct, in politics, in hierarchy, in tradition. So every there was a change in everything. So here you can find that Virginia Woolf, she points out the arrival of the changes with the arrival of modernism. Her argument is that as times change, writers and the tools that they use must evolve. The tools of one generation are useless to the next. So she is, so she, uh, I mean, she brings an argument that for in order to, if the problems are new, if the problems change or with the changes that comes with the arrival of modernism, you also have to bring changes in literature or you also have to bring changes in the different portrayals of that problem. So, uh, you cannot use the same tools, same mechanisms, same literary devices of the Victorian age in order to portray the lives of the modern age because both ages are different. So, you have to, evo you have to evolve into the new modernisms or new te uh, technology or new literary devices in order to address the issue of the modern people. So she places Bennett in the Edwardian. So Edwardian means the Edwardian era or uh, Edwardian period is of the British history span the reign of King uh, Edward the Seventh. That is from 1901 when Queen Victoria died. So from 1901 to 1910, the a the age was called as Edwardian era or Edwardian period. So Virginia Woolf says that so. Um, Edwardian era is mostly the uh, era. I mean, uh, Annal Bennett, he wrote or he lived during the time of this Edwardian era. But the next era, that is the Georgian era with the coming of George the Fifth as the king. So, this is the time where the uh, world war came. So, he, she says that uh, she places Bennett in the Edwardians and the subject of his attacks as Georgians. That is, Annal Bennett, he is an Edwardian writer. Virginia Woolf, she is a Georgian. Georgian writer. So that is the difference and to reflect the change of monarch in 1910. So she characterizes Georgian writers in modernist terms as impressionist and those that are telling the truth. So they are telling the problems of the soul. They are telling the problems of problems within oneself, not the problems that that is there in the society. So her vision of reality is captured in the world of an anonymous woman she has observed to who she gives the name Mrs. Brown. So here Mrs. Brown is a fictional character that Virginia Woolf creates in order to represent herself or her beliefs whose world is to be reflected by the modernist writer. So this is what Virginia Woolf tries to uh, bring in Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown. So, as I said earlier, if you want to have a clear-cut contrast between the Edwardians and Georgians, you can read this essay. So, in December 2021, there was a question asked from Mr. Brown, Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown. In Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown, Virginia Woolf analyzes the state of modern fiction by contrasting two generations of writers. So, from the very first option, we are very clear that that can be an answer because as I said earlier here in, Mo in Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown, she analyzes the state of modern fiction by contrasting two generation of writers that is the Edwardians and the Georgians. So, she brings a conflict between the Edwardians and the Georgians. So, the correct answer is option A. Okay, so that is the correct answer. So, that is about Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown. So, this is an essay written by Virginia Woolf as a response to Annal Bennett's criticism of Virginia Woolf's Jacob's Room where he accuses her characters as not to be survived. Okay, uh, 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 I mean, accuses Virginia Woolf of writing characters that could not survive. So, here she brings a contrast between two generations and shows the difference between the Victorian age and modern age. Okay, so that's all about uh, Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown. Thank you.